I'm looking down at the clock all the time and then the team starts saying it's like it's just a reminder that yeah mm. can, life is all right like we're here we're breathing there will be a th there will be a day one day soon luckily I've, I've not had that day I've, I've still got both parents and I know that there will be a day where shit hits the fan and you're mm. like oh that is the day that's disrupted my whole life moving forward nothing will ever be the same mm. So, so every day before that happens, because I know that that's going to happen one day, or, mm. or I go and I'll never experience that day. But it's like, how do I just like enjoy this now? Like you know, you know, I talk about death all the time, but it's not about death. It's about life, and mm. it's, it's about like using death as that narrative to be like, well, one day I'll be dead, so I might as well just like not sweat the small stuff and just enjoy it while I'm here. This is the thing as well, because I know you said about like, study stoic philosophy. That's something that I do, but even if you just read about it it can be so helpful because mm. of what you just said there it's a way of life and you if you do follow it and get some of the principles right you can just live with more inner peace and take action now and be, it helps you to be more present but also you said about like you know you both got so both parents are still alive but you know something's going to happen and that's what stoic philosophy does it helps you prepare we know more shit's coming around the corner i know that phone's going to go and it's going to be shit news don't know when but it will happen mm. but studying it or reading about it daily it prepares you for that 